Well, first of all, I had um, a, 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 an account for one of those national sort of signature lines. And uh, the day before the shoot, I had a two-day shoot booked. It was my first one. I was so excited to get it because, again, you know, I was, I was uh, about 40 at the time. And uh, so the day before they called and they said, oh, we, we have to reduce it to one day. Now, we would like to explain why. And I said, oh, that's fine. I'm just, I'm happy to do the one day, you know. And they said, no, 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 I'd like to explain why. And they said, um, the, the, the owner wants some provocative shots. And I, we would not dream of asking you to do those. Mm -hmm. Is that okay? <laughs> I'm like, do you think? <laughs> because see, he knew that I wouldn't, even for the money, there's no way. And I was sharing with Moira that a few years later, I'm still doing, uh, you know, a lot of those mm -hmm. still accounts, because there's a few more that I do um, outside of the Nygaard, um, but that, that I've actually got a raise. You know, and, and I'm, it, God has just continued. And I, and I know that when I see the photographs in the stores, it's, it's not about me, you guys. I, I just believe that it, it's because there is that platform that the Lord has, has put me on at this time in my life. And it won't last forever. So that's why I believe Beautiful Inside and Out is, is for now. It's to start having the opportunity to share from a person who has had many pageant titles and done all this stuff. So I don't have sour grapes. It's not like I didn't make it. So now I'm really, you know, downing the whole business it's because I know that there's so much more and, and you've taught people how to treat you and you've taught yes, people yes. what your standards are exactly. so that they don't even have yeah. to come to you before they just know they trust is not going to do this and you know what's amazing I honestly did not say that I would never do those things I well, mean I talk about you, Jesus all the time how you live I guess so are. And he says we want you to yeah. be the elegant classy model that. but that's the key though I mean even for us as ladies sitting on the couch on how we live in the places that we shop, mm -hmm. in what we choose, in how we can speak courageously to, you know, our young daughters one day and girls that we know and teens that we know. I mean, like Michelle, you mm -hmm. you have that kind of influence oh, to so awesome. speak to the girls it's in in EI, right? And, and for them, or IE, I -E. sorry, yeah, <laughs> inspire I -E. excellence. Yeah. I -E. Well, exactly. And for them to hear from women and other young women and girls to be encouraged in modesty and to cultivate that inner beauty, to cultivate yes. that relationship with the Lord, That's right. and you know, to spend more time in the Word every day than they're spending in front yes, of the mirror. Exactly. You know, and, That's where and it starts. Growing. Can yeah, and encouraging girls, it's like, you know, it's not just about the fashion, even though as much as I love fashion too, oh, yeah, but, <laughs> but, doing, yeah, but doing skills and getting into sports and doing yes. other activities that generate a full person, you know, rather than just sort of a one dimensional. We want, we want girls to be, you know, full and vibrant, exciting, yeah, exactly. having a full life. And so and I, I think, think all of us are trendy, but we're still, we still look respectful. Oh, yes. no and man. that's the thing. You can yeah. still shop and look trendy, yeah. but there are certain ways of doing that. Can I just say one thing really quick? I believe we are responsible for what men look at. Right now mm -hmm. as we sit here on this couch, whatever men are in the studio, we are responsible. Mm -hmm. And we have to be, we are accountable for it. But when I meet someone's husband, what he's forced to look at, it's not his fault if I'm wearing something inappropriate. Yes. We, we have to recognize that. It's no longer, oh guys are visual. No, no. I don't want anyone to sin looking at me. So that's my hope. Oh, Thank you. I hope we've inspired excellence here, Michelle, in this <laughs> slice on the couch. And um, I do want to mention, May 2010, especially if you're in the Winnipeg yes, area, yes. watch for Beautiful Inside and Out God's Way. You'll get to hear more <laughs> from Tressa Lemke. And don't go away, Tressa. Okay. You're with us for this hour. Thank you. You mentioned actresses. Yes. Actress Audrey Hepburn died in 1993, mm. but she's still one of the biggest style icons of our time. She determined never to exceed 103 pounds. But listen to a few of her beauty tips. For attractive lips, speak words of kindness. For lovely eyes, seek out the good in people. For a slim figure, share your food with the hungry. For beautiful hair, let a child run his or her fingers through it once a day. For poise, walk with the knowledge that you never walk alone. Are you feeling more beautiful already? I hope so. The king says he's enthralled with your beauty. Just own that. And if you're frustrated or discouraged for yourself, maybe for a daughter or someone you love, maybe you'd like some prayer, please give us a call. We would love to pray with you. God invites you to cast all your anxieties on Him because He cares for you.